from the City College of New York. My name is Abuna Lodge Barry, and welcome to a brief review of every single method that we're going to use to solve differential equations, starting off with separation of variables. So, what is that? Well, if we have a very basic differential equation, let's say we have y prime times y is equal to x. So, in other words, y prime is equal to x divided by y. This is one of the simplest differential equations you can get. Now, all you have to do is rewrite y prime as dy dx. You get y on the side with the dy and x on the side with the dx. And then you integrate both sides, which means y squared over 2 is equal to x squared over 2 plus c. Or in other words, y squared is equal to x squared plus c. y is equal to the square root of x squared plus some number c. So what happens if we actually plug that back in? Well, if this is true, that means y prime is equal to, by the chain rule, 2x times x squared plus c to the negative 1 half times 1 half, which means these actually cancel out, and we get y prime is equal to x over the square root of x squared plus c, which checks out very easily. So that's the essence of separation of variables. All you want to do is take dy dx. You've got some function of y, and then you've got some function of x. All you want to do is get py dy is equal to qx dx, and then integrate on both sides. Now, obviously, why doesn't this always work? Well, sometimes we have multiple terms. So what's a problematic thing? For example, y plus x squared equals 0. What are we supposed to do in this situation? Because now we have dy dxy, or y dy dx, plus x squared dy dx is equal to 0. There's no way we can actually separate the dx to be on the x squared side. There's no way we can physically separate the y, dy to be on the y side. So these are the times where uh, separation of variables just doesn't work. So what do we do in these cases? Well, we come to our next method of solving differential equations, integration factors. What do you see? Sand. Imagine if we could look so closely, we could see each grain, each particle. You see, there are patterns and everything. Integrals, infinite series. I've never seen anything like them. From an Indian.